Hey everyone, I don't know if you know, but I'm a serious computer geek and I've wanted to do a video on the computers in the uh, Tesla Model 3 for a while, so here we go. All Teslas use two separate computer systems, one for the infotainment system and one for the adaptive cruise, autopilot, and self-driving. For the Model 3, Tesla developed a liquid-cooled dual computing module that supports two separate computer boards. The first board is the infotainment electronic control unit, and the second is the autopilot control unit. The technology that has been used for these two systems has changed over the years. With Hardware One, they were using NVIDIA for the infotainment system and the Mobileye technology for autopilot. They didn't have self-driving at that time. For Hardware Two, starting with the Model S and X, uh, they continued to use NVIDIA for the infotainment system, but they went with a custom NVIDIA Drive PX2 system with one Parker uh, GPU chip and one Pascal chip. Starting with hardware 2.5, and that includes the Model 3, they've gone to uh, Intel-based technology for the infotainment system, which has achieved a two-fold uh, increase in many of the functions on the main console. The Model 3 main console was uh, much snappier than the early Model 3, Model S's. The hardware 2.5 includes a new version of the custom NVIDIA Drive PX2 board with two Parker GPU chips and one Pascal chip. You can also see all of the connectors on the right-hand side here for the front camera, uh, the B-pillar cameras, <clears throat> the uh, main cam, the selfie cam that's probably only used for the Model 3, and the backup cam, uh, and uh, the connectors on the left probably go to the different control units. This chart describes the difference between the Hardware 1 and Hardware 2 um, cameras and sonar and radar. The um, Hardware One really just had the one camera <clears throat> and a rear-facing camera just for uh, uh, human use. The um, Hardware Two has the eight separate cameras, uh, three front-facing, uh, four side-facing, and one in the rear. Tesla's custom Drive PX2 board by NVIDIA fit somewhere between the two commercial boards they were selling, the Auto Cruise and the Auto Chauffeur. This chart shows how the Tesla custom board uh, fit between the PS2 Auto Cruise and Auto Chauffeur. It also shows that the uh, early, I think this was the 2.0 board, uh, had a between 8 and 10 teraflops, which is a trillion floating point operations per second performance. And the Auto Chauffeur model had about 20 teraflops. Now, the 2.5, I believe, is probably closer to the auto chauffeur, so I think the current 2.5 hardware can achieve close to 20 teraflops, which I think is what everyone is saying is needed for at least level 4 automation. NVIDIA has already released a new technology called Xavier, and they've basically been able to achieve 30 uh, teraflops all on one chip. So they've basically taken the whole card that Tesla currently uses and put it into a single chip and uh, I wonder if Tesla will eventually upgrade to that or there's talk that they made to try to develop their own chip. If Tesla stays with NVIDIA they've uh, already announced the Pegasus which uses two of the Xavier chips and two Volta chips which they say should achieve 320 tops or trillion operations per second, integer operations per second. NVIDIA claims that's the kind of computing power that is going to be needed for full level 5 autonomy. So Tesla may only be able to achieve level 4 autonomy with what they have in their cars now. NVIDIA has already announced that they will shrink the full Pegasus board down to a chip called Orin. Well, that's a summary of the past, current, and future computer technologies used in Teslas. Thanks for watching, and uh, my other Tesla videos are here in the top right, my son's channel, The Nerd Writer, in the top left, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.